You would ghost a girl because she's on her period? That might be the worst comment I've ever heard in my life. I was talking to this Joe and the combo was going smooth and then she just started responding. What's the next move? What you going to do? I mean, think about your options, bro. Like, when y'all ask me for advice on something to me that seems so obvious, what's your options? Triple text her. Young Trap, I appreciate the seven months. Big seven monther. Like, think think with your self-respect, bro. Think with your think with your, your dignity in mind. And then the answer to be clear. Because to me, there's only one option. Fall back till she crawl back, cool off, be Coolio Jones off her. You know what I'm saying? Charge that one to the game. Because what are your other options? Triple text, blow her phone up, chase her. I mean, listen, it's people that do that, bro. And then she do respond or they do end up texting again. I was personally never willing to do that. I was never willing to do that, bro. Because I know the positioning. That's just, it has no aura in that. Deb, you, you end up getting that and you be fucking with her as much as you force her to. Fuck with you. No lie, bro. I don't, I don't, I never wanted that positioning, bro. Cause that'd be the dude who get his girl stolen cause he never had her in the first place. Let's just call it spade to spade, chat. You know what I mean? The answer to have these questions be just find a new bitch. Yo, it's, it's certain attachment styles out there, chat. Um, and the only three I'm thinking of right now is, is anxious attachment style, um, Avoidant attachment style and then secure attachment style. The one thing, and we watch these psychologists talk about it and all that, they say the secure attachment style will leave. Other attachment styles deal with it. They try to accommodate or or overcompensate and you know sacrifice and, and you know, all types of shit, bro. A, a person who's securing themselves will always leave because sometimes that is literally the best thing you can do is leave. The the best thing you could do is cut that person up. As opposed to what? Beg them to fuck with you, chase them, deal with bullshit. I mean, you know, you gotta really weigh your options out. I deal with this on her blank on the ghost her ass, but I'm trying. You would you would ghost a girl because she's on her period? That might be the worst comment I've ever heard in my life. That might be the worst comment I've ever read in my life. Are you are you are you missing half your brain? I don't know if it had to be said, buddy, but they all get one. Some last longer than others, but they all get one. If you want a woman without a period, You're going to have to find out what you're looking for, but might come with something else uh, between those legs. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Bro said builder. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I can't believe I just read that message. What I asked when I'm about to grab my food, bro. Mama, I'm sorry from the way that I live. Got to go hard. Oh, yeah, you know how it is. Right, bro, get you an auto. <laughs> get a mannequin, right? Order a blow-up doll or something, bro. Long time you talk about f own pace and trying to save others. Damn, bro, I look here. They can learn that the hard way. Keeping your own peace than trying to save such help others. Yo, because what you realize is if somebody's not ready for what church, how you're trying to help them, they're never going to take it. Myself included. I might hear the best advice I've had in my life. And maybe I had to learn that same lesson the hard way and look at it like, damn, that's exactly what this person said. I'm not exempt from that. I have enough humility to say I've learned some lessons like that. You cannot help somebody. You cannot help somebody that's not ready for it. You know, and, and what you need to be, I realize that, but I would say what's most developed in me, the more I grow. And like I said, I'm 22 years old, bro. So the older I get, the more I realize is that. The truth does not become more or less true based on who the per the people involved, the circumstances. The truth don't care about none of that shit. 
It don't care about how this person felt, uh, you know, how you feel, your morals. The truth don't care about none of that shit, bro. The truth gives a fuck about none of that. Oh, no, that was my, you know, that was my little cousin, man. So, you know, I just had a soft... You're about to go broke because of that person. You know what I'm saying? Your business is at risk because of... You, you, you know what I mean? Like, the truth, whatever the truth is, just make sure you don't sacrifice the truth for at the sake of some other bullshit, bro. Because the truth going, you know, everything comes to light, bro. Everything that's in the dark will come to the light. If you want, and if you're on the right side, then just tell the truth, stand on what's true, and, and, and stand on business, bro. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. That's what you'll learn the hard way, man. Your whole simp, your whole ship will sink because you might be making the wrong choices, ignoring the truth for how you feel about other people, and um, you know, bullshit, just bullshit. I can't even put really a name to a face on all of it. You know what I'm saying?